Hello everyone, welcome back to Send the Moments channel. I'm Jolima, I hope you're all well, I hope you're all safe. And in this video, I want to talk about my top 10 best chocolate fragrances. I love chocolate, it's my favorite sweet uh, candy, let's say. Love chocolate mousse, my favorite dessert. Love chocolate cake, hot chocolate, I mean, you name it. Everything which with chocolate is a must for me. Uh, and so, because I love gourmet fragrances and I love chocolate-based uh, scents, I have here 10 fragrances, a designer and niche, I, but are much more niche fragrances than designers, uh, that have a very strong note of chocolate slash cacao. And so, without further ado, in the number 10 spot from the house of Mugler, the fragrance is pure tonka this one right here gorgeous delicious fragrance it's the third best flanker in my opinion followed uh following the pure van and pure malt this one is absolutely delicious of course it has a heavy dose of tonka bean but the patchouli here with the tonka bean create a very chocolatey cacao impression that it's very prominent with a coffee oh man this is delicious coffee tonka bean cacao patchouli man this is a bomb, great performance overall and so delicious. It's one of the best Cucumon fragrances. Sadly, this is discontinued or at least it's very hard to get. And talking about discontinued fragrances, I very recently, um, I uploaded a video talking about my favorite discontinued fragrances. So feel free to check that video out. This one is delicious, one of the best from Mugler with a nice delicious cacao impression. Is pure tonka. The next fragrance that I have here, it's a niche from House of Baruti and I actually did a review of last year when this was released and it is Perverso, this one right here. Now this is in the number 9 spot because this is more about the roasted nuts with rum, uh, this is a bomb. Wow, and this also has a touch of coffee and has also cacao. Uh, the cacao here, it's there, it's prominent, but it's smooth, it's soft. Definitely the most prominent note here is roasted nuts with rum and styrax. Heavy dose of styrax also. This is very smoky, campfire-esque, very bold, loud, very nutty, boozy, delicious. Uh, and this is a beast of a performance. This is nuclear. You will fill a room. This will last through the entire day and night. I mean, you need to go easy on the trick with this one. Just a number nine because the cacao here is not very prominent, but it's there. From the house of Baruti is Perverso. Number eight spot, it's a designer. From the house of Valentino and it is Valentino Womo Intense. This is the reason why the Om Intense is not featured here because I feel that uh, the chocolate cacao nuance it's much more prominent here than in the Om Intense. In the Om Intense you also have that cacao feel but here you get more of that dark chocolate impression. Although it's not featured as an official accord but it's present with the iris, with the black leather, with the vanilla. This is one of the best iris base scents out there. Of course, it goes in, it falls in the same realm of Diorome Intense, Diorome Parfum, of Givenchy, Gentleman, uh, Eau de Parfum. I already did a comparison video with all of those designers iris base scents, so feel free to check that video out. But nonetheless, I feel that dark chocolate, it's much more prominent in this one than in the other iris based scents in the design realm so that's why it's featured here i love this one one of my all-time favorites it's valentino uomo intense with a delicious dark chocolate impression in the number seven spot we have a niche fragrance from house of nazomato and the fragrance is pardon this one right here this is already a classic one of the best from Nazomato, very well known in the fragrance community and very well cherished. This is a chocolate oud based scent done to perfection. 
Man, the dark chocolate, chocolate in here is delicious, creamy, of course dark. And then you have the resinous, slightly skanky nuance of the oud. But it's not very, very overly skanky, it's just mild. It's resinous, it's woodsy, it's bold, but it's very romantic at the same time. One of the best wood scents, actually, it's mm, delicious, it's very well done, very, very well done. Great performance overall, very likable in my opinion. And that's why it's, uh, it's number seven spot uh, because, well, the others do have a more prominent chocolate slash cacao feel. And of course, as soon as we go upper uh, into this list, you will see the chocolate more and more pronounced. Uh, and it's starting with this one, Nazomato Pardon, a stunning scent. It's one of the best from uh, Nazomato. The next fragrance in the number six spot is from the house of Atelier Cologne, and actually this is my favorite from this brand. It is Café Tuberosa. Café Tuberosa is, of course, like the name suggests, all about coffee and tuberose, um, and that's why this is just in number six. Then you have rose and you have a lot of cacao, true, but the coffee here is done to perfection. I love the coffee. It's, this is a delicious scent. It's a gourmand fragrance, in my opinion. Very romantic, very smooth, silky, soft, very enveloping, cozy, and done to perfection. It has a natural feel into it. Love the cacao uh, in here. Done really well, very well blended, uh, and lasts through the entire day. I think the performance of this one it's really good, and like the majority of the Atelier Cologne fragrances, uh, this one projects and lasts through the entire day. And for me, this is quite similar to Noir de Noir from Tom Ford. It shares similarities because of the cacao, of the rose, but of course, uh, Tom Ford, which I will be mentioning uh, in a bit, uh, Tom Ford Noir de Noir has a more prominent chocolate, dark chocolate accord. But nonetheless, number six spot, a fantastic scent, Café Tuberosa. Now let's talk about my top five and this top five and especially the top three, but these top five are the creme de la creme in terms of chocolate fragrances. I think these five are the very best chocolate fragrances out there, in my opinion, of course, especially the top three. I mean, you cannot beat the top three that I will be mentioning. Number five spot from Fabio Seferi. Uh, I will consider this a niche. Uh, fragrance. I have yet to review this one. It is Insomnia. I mean, I love the dark color of the liquid inside. And actually, I do like the bottle presentation of this one. Um, it's uh, unique. Uh, I mean, it's simple. It's minimalistic uh, type of bottle. So I really do like the presentation. Um, but what really matters is the scent inside. Hey, Amen. Wow, what a fragrance. Uh, this is often compared with uh, Black Phantom from By Killian, and I see the similarities. I see why people compare uh, this one with Black Phantom from By Killian. I'll be honest, I much prefer this one. For me, Black Phantom comes across very synthetic smelling scent. It's very plasticky, it's very harsh right from the opening. I mean, it doesn't smell, it's not smooth. It's not, it doesn't have that realistic natural feel that I love to smell in gourmand fragrances and it's quite hard to, to make a very well balanced and well done gourmand scent without making it overly sweet or overly synthetic. This one is done to perfection. This has rum, this has dark chocolate, this has coffee, this has vanilla, tonka bean, and it's done so, so well. Man, I love this. Love this fragrance. This is all about coffee. It's all about dark chocolate and rum. Done to perfection. A stunning winter scent. Great performance, great longevity. Actually, I don't recall the concentration of this one, but the performance is really good. 
you know what I mean? At least on my skin, it will last me through the entire day. Great projection, I need to go easy on the trigger with this one, especially if I will spray my clothes and I need to, and you need to be cautious with the, uh, spraying your clothing with the color of this liquid. Nonetheless, great, stunning fragrance. Sweet, not overly sweet, a very realistic dark chocolate with coffee and rum with a bit of the creaminess of the vanilla. Stunning scent is Insomnia from Fabio Seferi. Now in the number four spot, Tom Ford. From the house of Tom Ford, and I already mentioned this fragrance, it is Noir de Noir. Noir de Noir, guys, this is, I love this 250 ml uh, looking bottle. Noir de Noir, man, it's the best chocolate rose combo that I ever experienced. The dark chocolate in here is very, very realistic, very prominent. You have a very mild touch of wood, like this resinous dark wood, uh, with also a lot of rose. This is very romantic, this is very sensual, this is very addictive. I love this fragrance. Uh, this is unisex. All these fragrances that I mentioned are unisex. Um, some more masculine than others, but in my opinion, these are all unisex, and this one is no exception. Tom Ford, Noir de Noir, one of the most romantic, one of the most sensual fragrances ever created is this one. And of course, gorgeous looking bottle. And now guys, the top three. I'll be honest here, any of these three fragrances could be my number one. I think if tomorrow, if I would do this list, maybe the th number three would be number one, or the number two would be number one. I mean, honestly, just pick any of these three fragrances because these three are the best of the best chocolate fragrances. You will not find any uh, more realistic chocolate scents like these. But in the number three, from the house of Profumo Broma, and you all know how much I love this house, it is Sorriso. Sorriso means smile. Uh, and this fragrance is all about chocolate, all about orange. This fragrance literally smells like chocolate pudding with orange. Delicious. I mean, wow, this is, this is another level. It's smooth, it's realistic, it's, it has a natural feeling to it. Incredibly long lasting. Great performance overall. Oh, man, it's so addictive and it's so sensual, so edible. Oh, man. This was not love at first sniff though. I actually, this took me a while to appreciate this fragrance because I was expecting like a nutty, chocolatey scent, not this creamy, uh, like cold freeze chocolate pudding with orange. I was not expecting that type of chocolate, so that's why I took more time to appreciate this one, but now I love this. I mean, I love this. This is already one of my most worn fragrances of this year, hands down. Wow. And I actually just purchased this one like a month ago. And man, I can't get enough with this one. It's Sorriso from Profumo Roma, one of the best from this house and one of the best chocolate fragrances ever created. And coming in the number two spot from the house of Guerlain and this is a masterpiece of a fragrance. If you love Gourmand, if you are a Gourmand lover, you need to try this one. From the Elixir de Charnel line, it is Gourmand Cocon. Gourmand Cocon, guys, is... This could be number one, easily. This has rum, this has chocolate. Um, I mean, this could easily be my number one. This is so delicious. This is so realistic. I mean, there's no words to describe how good this fragrance is. 
love the bottle i mean this can come across a bit more feminine um, but for me this is strictly unisex because the rum and the chocolate here come across at least on my skin a bit more masculine but i think this is unisex through and through this also has rose this has the garland nod in here so i think this is a perfect unisex scent definitely this is more about rum and chocolate Man, so realistic, so delicious. Um, and it has like a cakey impression in here. Um, this is amazing. One of the best Gourmand fragrances ever. This could easily be number one. Again, it is from Guerlain Gourmand Coca. And last, number one. And this fragrance has been my number one for a while now, for a very long time actually, since the moment I try this uh, fragrance. Uh, but now, again, any of these three could be my number one. Um, but in this video, my number one from the house of Pantheon Roma, it is Dolce Passione. This one right here. Dolce Passione from Pantheon Roma. This is a niche Italian brand uh, located in Rome, Italy. This is an Extrait de Parfum, 50 ml bottle size, and this is all about chocolate. This smells like you are entering into the most luxurious uh, chocolate pastry store. <sighs> You have strawberry, you have plum, you have hazelnut, you have chocolate, you have like a boozy impression, you have vanilla, so it's milky, it's nutty, chocolatey, cakey, fruity, but definitely the most prominent note in here is chocolate, the most one of the most natural smelling nutty chocolate. Wow. This is incredible. This is incredible. I don't know how come it's possible to create such a fragrance. A such a realistic nutty milky chocolate fragrance without making it overly sweet. This is so well balanced. At least on my opinion, on my skin of course. Uh, this is very well balanced, not overly sweet, realistic, natural smelling scent. <laughs> the best. Uh, but again, quite honestly, could be Dolce Passione, could, could be Gourmand Coquin, could be Sorriso, I mean, you name it. Even Noir de Noir or Insomnia. Um, guys, I love chocolate fragrances and these fragrances that I just mentioned are the ones that I consider to be the very best out there. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Tell me in the comments down below what is your favorite chocolate fragrance. Um, is there any fragrance that I skipped that I'm missing here? Tell me everything in the comments down below guys and see you in the next video. Ciao!